Yo, Lon Dassey back with another video. What it do YouTube, it's your girl on Daxi and today I will be doing something a little bit different, something a little bit um kind of I won't say out of my element because I'm I have no restrictions on my channel, but today I will be doing a wig slash hair review um for my girl Zaria and yeah so we're gonna get into it. This is gonna be a quick little video, um, but I also wanted to do this because I just had to promote the type of person she is, um, her whole entire business, her hair, just everything about this whole experience was amazing. So yeah, let's get into it. I'm just in love with the hair. I'm in love with the look. My birthday is coming up. I'm about to be turning 19. Um, I wanted to try a short black bob because again like I've never I haven't had like short hair like this and my hair isn't black so I just wanted to see how I would look would it enhance my features like what would it do if I had black hair like I used to be looking at people with black hair like I wonder what I would look like with black hair so yeah this is definitely I know last year I did my first color so this year I am Dimming it down a little bit, but I'm also doing something that I've never done before. So props to me. Zaria, I will start by saying she is an amazing young businesswoman. For her to be as young as she is, but also as mature as she is, but I can really see her business thriving and growing beyond what it is now, way beyond. She's progressed so much in the past year, so I can't even imagine where she'll be in like two or three years. All right, so um, the hair is actually really soft. I have selected people that I go to and they know that I'm a regular client and I will definitely promote them. I'm not gonna promote your stuff if I don't feel like you're a good business person. I'm not gonna promote your stuff just because we're cool. But your quality, like you have to have a good work ethic. You have to be able to know how to talk to customers and stuff. So like Zaria, Tanja, Asia, um, Bree, like, most of the main people that I go to, like I know for a fact that they're recommendable. I will recommend them to other people because I know they're not just gonna leave you hanging. They're not just gonna have you, you know, out here canceling on you and all types of stuff and just unprofessional. But I spoke with her. I'm gonna go through our messages and stuff just so you can get a glimpse of you know the type of woman that she is and the type of business woman that she is because disclaimer all right so i knew how i wanted my hair i'm always planning always thinking my mind is always running so when my birthday comes around i always pre-think months in advance about what i want to look how my look is going to be what do i want to do what vibe am i going for because every year it's like a different vibe for me so we could start by going through the messages and I'll put the messages and stuff over here so you guys can see exactly what I am talking about. Um, okay. So, I messaged Zarya back in January. And you can see, I said, hey Zarya, it's Londa. I just want to, I know for sure that I want to buy hair from you. Now, I knew for, for sure that I wanted to cop from Zarya because of the reviews that she's gotten that i told her i want this style for my birthday so what would you recommend i know it has to be made into a wig and i showed her a picture of the short bob um so she said hi londa i would recommend straight or maybe body wave either or um i said i'll probably do body wave because if i wanted to straighten it out then i can do that if i want to curl it the curls will have a better possibility of staying rather than just straight hair uh, what would you suggest as far as closures and frontals and what length would you suggest? Because me, personally, I don't know anything about wigs. 
I barely know that much about weave considering like I really hardly ever really get my hair done like that so when I actually do I like to get opinions and stuff from others that have more experience and more expertise in the field than me she said get a 12 or 14 inch only depending on the cut you're more than likely need a frontal but you can get away with the closure I did have a closure on my last wig so I'm a little bit more familiar with that and I know that frontal is probably require more maintenance and stuff but I'm not doing all that um she said ask the person that would do my hair and i said thank you blah 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 um asked her about a website she said she's working on the website boom so that was in january so i kind of just gave her a heads up you know hey i'm thinking about purchasing from you blah 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 boom so um i text her again in april and i said i was wondering if i ordered hair from her do you make wigs as well because um i wanted to ask her that because if I got the hair from her, I wouldn't want to have to go pay somebody else to make a wig. Like, it's just so much. And then have to go to somebody else and install the wig. It's just so much. So, um, she said yes. That was amazing that she did. She's so clutch for doing that. Because without Azaria, none of this would have even came. Um, I asked her how much would she charge. And I said the standard for a frontal and three wigs. And she said, was I doing a closure? So then I think I changed to a closure. At this time, uh, we can continue. You guys can read the message just like word for word exactly. Um, all right, so while we were in the midst of texting, this was probably like four, I believe Zaria had to go to work. She actually called me and was just like, hey, um, I just want to let you know that I'm about to go to work and I just, wanted to just inform you of like just want to make sure that we're on the same page and like is this what you wanted so i can have it in my mind blah 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 like she's a really professional like you don't get that like most days like you don't get a lot of professionalism from like younger people and from like a lot of hairstylists that's in savannah like you don't get a lot of professionalism from them because they feel like okay well you want your hair done from them and if you have a problem with it go to somebody else but to be honest it's like the the better like the more the nicer and the more like available you are to your customers the more clientele you'll get you know like that's just i feel like that's just 101 business i just feel like that's something that you should like definitely know before you um start to have a business or try and promote yourself as a business person because who would want to go to somebody who's, you know, not professional? Alright. Alright, so once we got off the phone, um, we just did a little rundown before she had to go to work. Then she texted me about the um, later that night when she got off, still businesswoman, all about her money. Um, okay, so she did recommend based off her personal experience, which is something that I did like. She explained how when she was getting above herself, she had to continue to um, extend the length that she was going to get. She actually got 14 inch instead of the 10 inch that she wanted, even though the look that she was going for was the 10 inch. Getting a 14 inch is easier to take away length than it is to add it point, especially when you're dealing with weed. So this was something that I truly, truly, truly appreciated because me, I'm thinking, okay, I want a short bob 10 inch. But it is smart that I got it cut instead of, you know, just being stuck with 10 inches and it doesn't look completely right. Um, Alright, so she also recommended that two bundles will give me a full look. And honestly, I'm really glad that I got two bundles because I feel like three was just, I would have felt like I had too much hair. Like, because it's a bob, like it's a bob, it's short, it's this is full enough like i feel like this is full enough all right so the best thing well it's a lot of best things about my whole process with sorry but she actually gave me a date um the day that she actually wanted to get the hair delivered by because she was i guess trying to pace herself into the different orders and stuff that um she also was doing besides my own so it it let me know as a customer that she's prioritizing my hair and my purchase but she's also assuring me that 
she has other clientele as as well. So she does, so she's just trying to do her best to keep it well managed. My birthday is May 9th, so I told her I need it by May 9th, like anytime before May 9th. And I can figure out, you know, how to get it done. She said April 20th. That is amazing. That's like three the three week time span for me to have the hair, look at it, examine it, and make sure it's like nothing else. And then also find someone to do my hair, which thank God everything played out perfect and smoothly like it did. Um, yeah, so April 20th came. She had, she uh, was actually able to deliver it to my house. I sent her um, the $10 delivery fee. Even though she didn't really ask for it, I still sent it because I felt like even if even if like she didn't ask for it i felt like she did such an amazing job even though i should i really should have tipped her more i probably am yeah, next time i'm christian from her i'm gonna tip her some more money because i just feel like this aria did such an amazing job um because she actually she actually got the hair for me um and i'm gonna insert a video right here what the hair looked like when it was in it it came in this little pink this pink uh, I don't know what this fabric is called but this right here and with her business card so um I will show you guys a video what the hair looked like just when I was sitting in the car and I was just um just that but I feel like Zarya did such an amazing job um in capturing the look that I wanted she knew exactly how to assemble it together what to do she also dyed my hair to this actual black and like this is an amazing like for her to have dyed this this is so amazing like this is so amazing and the closure the best thing that i like about the closure is you can't really even tell like unless you're completely close up all in my head even tell that it's like complete lace right here and that's amazing like when i back up i mean of course it, you might think I have on a wig or you might, like, it may look like a wig, but it doesn't look like a wig. It doesn't give you that wig feel or look, you know? So that's what I really love about it. Um, she made the wig without the measurements of my head. Now, my head is a little bit big, so it's a little bit snug in the back, but I would rather it be snug than loose, you know? So that's also a good thing. Her hair is, like, so soft. I know it probably looks like it's all caught together and, like, not all puffy but I, some oil from my bonnet actually did get on the hair but i'm actually kind of satisfied with how it looks right now so i'm not really stressing about it all right i have to go soon but yes i am completely in love with this hair i'm definitely going to shop with zaria again like look at this come on bro look at this like stop playing like do you see how neat this is and shout out to my girl taji who installed my hair i will put her instagram in the description bar below i tagged her all on my social media i'm gonna tag her when i post my pictures just everything it's just major salute out to zaria and taji they really made my birthday look come together because without my hair i mean outfit is just outfit but everything just coming together my whole vision my whole just everything that i wanted really came together taji really did her thing like she literally offered to just install my wig but Taji did an absolute amazing 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 job on installing my wig like I just I just love it like it's really it's really grown on me like at first I was like I don't know like I might be kind of ugly but it's really grown on me and I really love it and I love both of them actually for really just making this making this happen like it's just a beautiful thing to see so yeah, so let's just get into it real quick. Let's just get into it real quick, real quick, for y'all, real quick. Ugh, I know y'all probably like this little flip in the back. I know. I'm gonna have to get a straight iron or something. Like, come on. I might do like a little pencil. I just love short hair. I just love short hair. I love long hair too, but short hair is just my, my feel, my vibe right now. Like, Rihanna got short hair too right now too, so. Right. But yeah. So major shout out to Zaria and ooh, let me not forget her brand. 
life size brat. Um, definitely shout out to her business, shout out to her, shout out to Taji for definitely making my birthday complete, full, perfect, absolutely wonderful. I feel completely confident in my birthday, my birthday look, everything is gonna be amazing. So be sure to stay uh, follow up with me. Uh, make sure you turn my post notifications on on Instagram so you can tell me happy birthday on May 9th and also so you can see my full look. I'm definitely going to give them all their credits and when I post my pictures in the description box below. But yeah, I told y'all this is going to be a little quick little hair review just going through the process of this um this hair if you guys ladies if you have any other vendors or any other um people that you shop from in savannah let me know and i can consider on purchasing from them and actually doing a hair review with them but if i was you i would shop with zaria but yay so make sure um you guys like share comment and subscribe to your girls youtube um yeah so i hope you guys enjoy